Please, I have a name. Let's use it. But he rocketed onto screens with Marvel Studios' Iron Man in 2008 as both its first director and one of its stars. I got him! His vision helped set the pace and tone for 23 blockbuster films to follow. Take a look. It's pretty impressive, huh? His role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe carried on, not only as a director and actor, but also as executive producer on Marvel Studios films, including the box office smash hits Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. You'll see it. Someone like me could learn like someone like you. That's the real magic. His stunning take on the Jungle Book was an innovative retelling for a new generation through a new type of animation. Whoa. And his visually dazzling journey back to Pride Rock with a retelling of The Lion King has reconnected audiences with this classic Disney tale. It was a huge toolbox because I got to do stuff that would be indulgent on a live action shoot. Once again, shattering the mold for how stories can be told. You have a good story you're all telling together, the good things happen. John and I actually have something in common. We both grew up near the site of the 1964-1965 World's Fair, where Walt Disney first introduced three exhibitions, including It's a Small World. Among the many things that I've learned from studying Walt over the years is the power of technology in the hands of a great storyteller. Walt was a master at using it, and so was John. As evidenced by his work in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as you just saw, in the Jungle Book, in the stunning live-action version of The Lion King, and in the upcoming series, The Mandalorian, on Disney+. Plus. So it is my pleasure to present this award to a true visionary and a great storyteller, John Favreau. my Disney family, my Marvel family, my Star Wars family, the family of fans out there who, who is, and, and you're the reason I'm here, so thank you for, for creating a dialogue through storytelling and, and sharing our childhood memories and, and, and moving those memories into the future and creating new memories for each next generation. Um, I, I like what, what Bob was saying and I think instead of talking about me, let's let's take this opportunity to talk about Walt Disney because that's why we're all here. It's interesting that the, the, it's very flattering about technology because, as Arthur C. Clarke said, a sufficient enough technology is indistinguishable from magic. And and Walt Disney was the master of bringing the old myths and the magic of technology together to create indelible memories and create. Uh, to create a culture that we all grew up in, that, that uh, passed a set of values from one generation to the, to the next. And I, I love the statue, too, because the, it, it represents, uh, the scroll at the bottom, I think, represents ideas and inspiration. The hand represents the craft, and of course the star is the magic that comes from that. Uh, I also love it because it's from The Sorcerer's Apprentice from Fantasia, one of my favorite movies. By the way, Mickey Mouse was rebooted for that in the 40s. It was the first time he appeared with pupils, and Twitter went berserk. <laughs> but his legacy endured. And I actually love the message in that particular film because it is a true inspiration. The Sorcerer's Apprentice came from the Goethe poem from the 1700s, and that was reflective of the myth of the uh, the golem of Prague with the with the water buckets. 
So these are stories, and Walt always tapped into stories that went back all the way into human history. And this one is a wonderful story because, as you all know, as we, all of us people who are being presented with awards, are on our journey from mouse to magician, as is encapsulated in this fable, we realize that in the beginning, you're very confused by the magic, by the technology. When Mickey puts on that hat, it gets away from him. But then that wonderful wise wizard saves him from the mops. And that wizard's name was, who knows what the name of the wizard was? Yancid. Yancid, which is Disney, spelled backwards. And the artist drew inspiration from his face, specifically his eyebrow, uh, which was when they were being admonished that eyebrow, legend has it, his eyebrow would lift up as he would look at you. But then he cast his spell, parted the seas, and made everything safe and then took the apprentice back under his wing to become the wizard for the next generation. And so as I'm on my path now from mouse to wizard, I thank Disney and all of you for the opportunity to tell these stories, to explore technology and help bring magic to the next generation. Thank you.